Access to Energy, or A2E, is one of Shell's global social investment programs. This is the first year that Shell is embarking on it, and Malaysia is selected as one of only four countries where Shell operates in the world to receive funding for this program. Altogether, Shell has allocated approximately 30,000 US dollars, or the equivalent of 128,000 Malaysian ringgit, to benefit the community of Sabibinko. My name is uh, Adrian Bani Lasimba. I'm from an uh, organization called Tony Boom, Friends for Village Development. Right here, we are constructing a solar micro hydro hybrid project to provide electricity for Kampung Sabi Bingkol. This project is actually using two renewable energy technologies, which is solar and hydro, combined together to provide the needed energy for the communities. We got funding through Shell, the Access to Energy project. This is a pilot project in Sabah. And and uh, this is the first of its kind. After doing a survey study in this village, we found that the stream that we were supposed to develop for microhydro was not big enough to sustain 24-hour electricity, especially during longer period of dry season. So that's why we integrated solar energy to also work in tandem with the microhydro system so that during the dry season, we can get the electricity from solar when there's not enough flow on the river to run the turbine. Nama saya Andua bin Hampanatan dan peranan saya sebagai pengurusi pertubuhan rakyat Kampung Sabi Bingkol. Ini pembinaan kedua-dua projek ini ikut peringkat. Siap dulu ini pembinaan bangunan sulah akan diaturkan masa untuk pembinaan hidro. Kampung Sabi Bingkol ini memang penduduk dia berusaha bercucuk tanam sejalah. Untuk kami jual di pekan pegalungan ada dapat dua puluh ringgit, tiga puluh ringgit dalam satu hari kami kumpul-kumpul itu duit untuk belanja anak kami lah yang sedang bersekolah di sekolah menengah. Kami banyak susah kerana tu kemudahan budak-budak kami yang bersekolah kerana tiada lampu itu paksa kami beli minyak lah untuk jinar itu lima belas ringgit tu dalam lima liter satu malam sejak kami pakai satu bulan mungkin mau dapat satu ribu lagi juga masalah kami tiada lampu kan bila buat kerja malam begitu tiada lampu terpaksa pakai lampu pelit kan kalau betul-betul sudah kekurangan kan kadang-kadang boleh minta tempat kawan saja. Bila siang kami buat kerja di kebun lah. Kalau malam kami mau guna itu lampungkan untuk buat lap tangan. Nah, itulah kami mati-mati minta itu ano solar. My name is Nasir Risabia. I'm a area based coordinator, especially for the interior zone. For this project, Pakos involvement in generally to think about potential socio-economy in this village. That's our main task on this project. Tanibung can do all the technical, but what we think is after the energy, what is next? So we must think about what is the socio-economy, especially for the uh, women's group. That is the uh, most important because we understand that solar battery or uh, all maintenance need money to do that. So socio-economy must be here. Ini sula elektrik ada membantu kami untuk ekonomi sosial kami nanti. Jadi mungkin buat satu tabung lah untuk ini sulap bila dia ada kerusakan itu tabung kami guna nanti untuk memperbaiki itu sulap lah. Jadi ada semangat baru sudah. Memang kami semua dengan perasaan yang sentiasa ceria saja. Saya berterima kasih lah pada pergerakan ini Pakos dan kerjasama di pendana seperti Shell dan Tunibung. Jadi kami mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih. This program is centered around improving the quality of life of vulnerable communities through the provision of cleaner and more efficient energy to power the community's lifestyles. I'm also extremely pleased to have my colleague from Shell Malaysia here in Sabi Bingko, who have volunteered not only their time but also personal funds to help in this project, which revolves around installing the solar panels and batteries within the newly completed Social Economic Development Centre. My hope is firstly the Social Economic Development Centre does take off, that we will have the opportunity to truly enrich the lives of the women folk here. My second hope for this project is for it to be a flagship or an example for the rest of the communities within this region. They'll be able to have lighting and also additional appliances at very, very cheap expense.